Welcome to Focus on Claims with Ernie Bray, CEO of ACD. Hi, everyone. Ernie Bray here with another episode of Focus on Claims. And today we're going to do something a little different. I wanted to do a show that would kind of give independent appraisers out there who are running their own businesses some tips, some tricks, some things that they can focus on that if they do, will set themselves up for success. Because today I have guest Michael Collins, my VP here today. Mike, great to have you on. Thank you, Ernie. Thanks for having me on. Hey, and you know what? We were putting our heads together talking about, you know what, what can we do to sort of give some tips to appraisers to give them sort of the inside of what clients are looking for? I mean, we talked to hundreds of claims managers, VPs, and different insurance companies, and third-party administrators, and everybody out there in the industry and going to conferences. We all hear about what they're looking for. And I think a lot of times we all kind of know on the surface what people are looking for when it comes to quality and what they want from a field appraisal. But I also think sometimes in, in, the, li in the life that we're living, we sort of lose sight of the core fundamentals that are essential to be successful. So what we want to do here is go through 11 key tips that if you excel in these areas, you are going to be in a position to set yourself up for success in your individual business. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to jump right in and start off with these tips. And we're going to give you our thoughts and our kind of our, our mindset behind it to help give you some information. So I'm going to jump in. Number one, the most important thing is when you are getting an assignment, you are the face of that customer. And Mike, go ahead and lead into and talk a little bit about your thoughts behind that. That's right. You are the face of the, uh, in, for that customer. So you are representing not only ACD in this case, but you're also representing the insurance carrier who sent that assignment. This customer went through a life interruption. And the, and the one thing that's important is that human touch. And you folks are that human touch that could help this claim move forward um, as we talk through these next uh, few points to yep. make that happen. Yeah, and when, when, when we talk about face of the customer, think about this. In today's day and age, with straight through processing that's being pushed and you have a, a lot of times adjusters are very busy. They're, they're very much overloaded. A lot of times you're the only person they'll ever actually see. They may talk to an adjuster. Many times they may not even talk to an adjuster. Believe it or not, there might times they have difficulty. It might just be an email communication or phone messages back and forth. So when you're that professional out there in person, that interaction goes a long way to the representation of that insurance company, TPA, whatever it is. So make sure you're at the top of your game when it comes to professionalism, because that is how when you build a great reputation, you can go far because people will know you as a person that you can go to, the go-to person in your area. That's very key. All right, I'm going to jump in to number two about making owner contact when you get an assignment. When you get an assignment sent to you, that initial contact is so vital because a lot of times when the adjuster sends the assignment over to be dispatched out, that customer now is, is entering kind of what I call a moment of uncertainty. They've been told that somebody is going to contact them. Somebody's going to make contact within 24 hours because that's the standard. If you're not making owner contact in 24 hours, then that's going to set the claim up in a bad position because the owner's going to be, when somebody going to contact me? And the faster, the better, right, Mike? That's right. So you got to remember, they're, they're going to remember the last thing. The last thing is from their insurance carrier that uh, an assignment was sent out and somebody's going to be reaching out to them. Uh, so it's very important when you do receive that assignment it, and is to make that phone call. And when do you make that phone call is also important. And I would do that and encourage and recommend within two to three hours. So let's get that phone call because that is the start of the claim. It keeps everybody on the same page. And it ensures that this vehicle owner who had this life interruption knows that they are in the right hands. And that's you. Exactly. Great, great point. All right. We're going to jump into the point number three. Communicate any potential issues quickly to those that need to know. Go ahead and take up. Take a, go ahead and take that's, that one. Yeah, it, it's very important. I get, and it attaches to that initial contact. A lot of times, again, these are life interruptions. So Customers like to speak, they, you know, so listen and hear them. Um, in addition to that, they're going to go, may go through the accident details. And sometimes 
they may end up bringing up an inquiry, which may not, yep. which will require additional steps and questions in order to get those answers. So the more you have to, able to gain up front, you could get the, uh, uh, the adjuster on the phone or reach out to the adjuster, get the answers that you need, um, communicate to the uh, carrier um, about anything that may develop uh, that comes from that inspection or that or that call. So just make sure if something yeah. does develop, get in front of it. Let's not wait. Don't wait. Yeah, for you're, you're right. You're right. It, it, and totally. And when you think about potential issues that could be out there these days, I was just thinking the other day, you hear about these um, supply chain issues and part ordering and back orders. And I mean, let's say you get wind of there's a the vehicle owner's car is at a shop and the shop has parts on back order for two weeks and the car can't be repaired. Information like that, if it's conveyed to the adjuster, the vehicle owner, it eliminates the concern about what's going on. And, and yes, that's out of the ordinary. But if everybody knows, they're going to be less apt to be upset and calling people confused because everybody's on the same page. So when you see um, potential issues arising that could be coming down the line, let people know. Very important. It goes right to the communications. And I hope this helps you out. We, we really enjoyed being able to sort of give you some of our insight. And if you ever have any questions and you want to know a little bit about, you know, things that might be able to improve your business, hey, got the entrepreneurial heart here at ACD. And we're happy to talk to you. If you're not a member of our network right now, hey, feel free to reach out, talk to Michael Collins, reach out to myself on LinkedIn. And we're happy to start a conversation with you, you know, just casual conversation, talk about the business, the industry, and anything like that. I'm sure, Mike, you, anytime they can reach out to you as well. Uh, and that is very true. The one thing at uh, ACD, uh, everyone here is available. So feel free to make a phone call. I, we look forward to hearing from you. And guys, I just want to add one more piece to all this. Be accountable for your actions. And accountability is, could go both ways. It's accountability of the great things that you do. And it's taking accountability for things that happens or in claims. So accountability and transparency is also a key ingredient to all this. Uh, so we look forward to speaking to you. Uh, the numbers will show up at the end of this video and uh, make it happen out there, guys. You got it. All right. It was great having this, uh, this conversation. And thanks for joining us for this episode of Focus on Claims. All right. See ya. This has been Focus on Claims with Ernie Bray, President and CEO of ACD.